This video demonstrates how to install the North American version of the new Solis 60 kW commercial PV string inverter. Attention! Electrical equipment shall only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please read the inverter user manual before installation and verify that all the accessories are included in the box. Preparation before installation. The inverter weighs 82 pounds. Please utilize proper safe lifting practices when handling and installing the inverter. The inverter must be installed in a location where it will avoid direct sunlight. There must be adequate space around the inverter to allow for ventilation and heat dissipation. When the inverter is operating, it generates high temperatures and voltages. Please install the inverter in a secure inaccessible location. Installing the inverter mounting bracket. Adequate space should be provided around the inverter's installation location. After determining the location where the inverter mounting bracket will be installed, fix the mounting bracket to the mounting rack using M10 fixing bolts. Tighten the bolts using a 17mm socket. Fix all six corners of the mounting bracket in the same way. Mounting the inverter. Fix the two mounting brackets on the back hanging plate. Remove the protective cover from the AC side of the inverter. Fix the wire box to the mounting bracket with the provided set screws. Remove the protective cover on the right side of the inverter. Align the inverter bolts with the four holes on the mounting bracket and then secure them in place. Push the inverter closer to the AC wire box. Install the set screws included in the accessory kit. The inverter installation is now completed. Connecting the grounded conductor. Crimp an O-ring terminal to the end of the ground cable. Connect this terminal to the ground bolt on the side of the inverter. Wiring the DC side of the inverter. Please use a multimeter to measure the open circuit voltages of the PV strings. Ensure that the polarities of the strings are correct and that there is no voltage from positive to ground or negative to ground. Verify that the DC voltages are within the allowable range marked on the nameplate label on the side of the inverter and does not exceed the limit. Please refer to Solis demonstration video for making of DC connection cable. When the PV array is exposed to sunlight, the PV conductors become energized with high voltage DC. Before connecting the inverter, please ensure that the open circuit voltage of the photovoltaic string does not exceed the limit of the inverter. The PV modules connected to the same MPPT must have the same specification, the same orientation, and the same inclination. The string voltages must be within 50 VDC of each other. Listen for a click sound. This it indicates that the connection is properly secured. Wiring the AC side of the inverter. Before connecting AC cables, please remove the conduit knockout cover at the bottom of the inverter. Then open the AC wire box. Connect the AC conductors to the corresponding terminals of L1, L2, L3, and neutral. Pay attention to the correct cable connection. Wiring the communication cables. The communication cable interface is shown in the figure. When connecting an RS-485 communication cable, connect the RS-485A cable to port number 1. Connect the RS-485B cable to port number 2. Multiple inverters can be daisy-chained together with RS-485. If a meter is being connected, connect the meter A cable to port number 9. 
Connect the meter B cable to port number 10. If a Solis data logger is being installed, please connect it to the CALM port at the bottom of the inverter. Initializing the inverter. Please first give the system a full visual inspection to ensure all conductors are terminated properly. It is recommended to give the conductors a gentle tug test. Close the AC switch. Close the DC switch. If the DC operating voltage is 120 volts or higher, then the inverter will begin generating power after a 5-minute waiting period. The inverter will start up.